Welcome to episode 3 of Transforming Illumina, my trusty 10-foot rowboat into something much better, a fishing boat that's completely decked out. On the last video, we finished the plans and got well underway on the framing, but then I discovered an issue with the hull. Some really bad bidding that made me wonder if I should do the project at all. new uh, uh, bandsaw really kicks butt. So I'm going to use this on my transom. Let me show you what I've done so far. All right, so this is actually one of the old uh, benches, the aluminum from it. And what I've done is I used the other one to reinforce my transom because when I took a good close look, it had some really bad pitting. Let me show you some photos. This pitting is almost three quarters of the way through the thickness of the aluminum. It's what happens when the boat sits for 12 years in tannic water. So I took the other uh, piece of aluminum that was the bench and I cut it to shape inside the weld bead. I coated the old transom with uh, some, some good primer. And then I put this on top of a layer of marine sealer, that 3M stuff, and that stuff takes like three weeks to set up. But so I applied this over it, uh, putting these rivets on. And after the rivets, I put in uh, these stainless steel screws. Uh, they go into the wooden transom and they have little aluminum washers so that there's no stainless steel touching the aluminum. My hope is that this will extend the life of the boat at least another 10 or 15 years, uh, enough to get some use out of it. So now I'm gonna take this, and this is gonna be part of the transom on this side. I'm gonna lay it in here and screw it to the wood and then just use the wood itself as sort of like a metal shear. And I'm gonna bend it over and then bend it over on this side and extend it down about six inches on the outboard side of the transom. That should give me enough aluminum layers to have this thing last for a while. All right, before we get back to the transom and all that stuff, let's give this a final look. This is our experiment to see if that foam allows water to go through it, and it has not, uh, and it's been a month. So there's water down in there. Look. You can see the water. And what I'm gonna do is a test method I've used in real laboratories testing permeability of real materials. Not that this isn't real material. And I'll dump the water, I'll dry out the inside of the tube, uh, so I'm not weighing that. But then I'm gonna weigh it, I'll set it out in the sun, and then I'll weigh it every couple hours until it stops changing weight. And then I'll know how many milliliters of water it absorbed, if any. All right, I'm just gonna set it here on my kayak trailer hopefully it doesn't disappear okay back to the transom i'm going to go ahead and start the work of laying this thing over the uh, transom cap and i'll show you what it looks like all right so i've done a little bit of cutting and drawing and you can see i've got a, a couple of curves uh, drawn in this is going to be the outside and uh, this will be this little section will be on the inside of the boat and then it'll bend over the transom that thickness and then we'll have this curved area down the back of the transom I'm gonna drill some holes and uh, get this thing screwed in place all right here it is all the holes are pre-drilled and let me show you how this thing fits on there so it steps down inside here And uh, as you can see, that's where it's going to bend over. I'm going to screw it all in place and then leverage it over and hopefully it'll bend nicely. All right, so I've got the plate set in place 
and screwed in uh, with its permanent screws into the transom down here. And I'm gonna screw the plate onto that piece of wood just temporarily uh, using those screw holes that I've already drilled that are gonna be permanent screw holes. Uh, and this way I have a nice even leverage across the whole thing uh, and it should bend nice and evenly. We'll see. All right, so that's not horrible, but I still need to make the second bend. So I'm hoping it continues to bend halfway straight. All right, well, I've got it pretty nicely flushed up against the transom. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a couple of screws in so I can have them set for when I come back because I'm gonna pull it all off, caulk all the inside, put it all back and screw it all together. So, well, the next time you see it, it'll be perfect. Pretty happy with this. It looks uh, much more factory than if I had, you know, just put some angle iron or something over it or a, a U-channel or something. Just looks like it was a factory piece in a very sloppy factory. <laughs> kind of cool, I guess. Kind of looks like an envelope. But um, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get another uh, 15, 20 years out of this thing. And at that point, we'll both be ready for the scrap heap. All right, so I'm pretty much done with the transom. It's it's as good as it's gonna get. I'm pretty happy with it. It actually came out pretty uh, pretty robust, I guess. Uh, and now I'm working on this. This is gonna be the hatch for my switches. Uh, and this is gonna go in here, something like this, with a little space for some extra switches on the bottom. Uh, I'm working on this because uh, I gotta get like a prototype of how I'm gonna do my hatches, and this is gonna be the experimental one. All right, it's a hot Florida day. Uh, I've got. This is uh, the frame for this hatch, and this is gonna slide in here, sort of, and slide forward. And so the hatch lid will pivot out on the on the hinge, obviously. The other thing too I was really kind of uh, battling with is what am I gonna use for the deck because I don't wanna do it out of wood. I'm, all, I'm regretful that I did the transom out of wood, actually. I wish I hadn't, uh, but it, it, it's staying the way it is. And I had uh, initially thought that I could use this 3 8 PVC stuff, but it's too flexy. Uh, so I'm going to move it up to a half inch, which I checked and it works pretty well. It's a little heavy, but it's not heavier than wood. It's a slow, it's a slow process. I have very little time to do this stuff, so I'm going to hit it today and do it the best I can. Tomorrow is the 4th of July, and that means hot dogs and barbecues and probably not much of this. Let's keep working on this stuff. had to add a little bit of a ledge here and I'm doing that because uh, I need to support this because it's so long so it'll support the material that's going to be in here which is going to be three quarter inch PVC on top or underneath a uh, half inch sheet so the three quarter inch will be the stiffener on the bottom do now is I'm going to continue to work <laughs> from that bulkhead back because the front is just a little over overwhelming right now uh, so 
I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the bulkheads, uh, the very soft bulkheads, uh, for breaking out the areas that I want to put foam in and uh, the areas that will stay open. And this is the simple part because most of it is going to be wet. Uh, so except for this hatch, everything else is wet. Uh, this will be a battery box. That's a battery box. And that's just the build. And so I'm going to put in uh, styrofoam and all this stuff. So let's go get that styrofoam. Uh, bulkhead material Just like I planned Nothing says disaster like a light swing that's gonna do I'll just uh, cock the edges all right I've got this one in now and uh, I've got that one in and caulk and that caulk will look a little better later uh, I've got these panels in that are basically gonna delineate the sump or the build I've got them sort of wedged in with foam these are almost filled in with foam back here too I've got a Piece, a block of foam in there just holding it up against the the, uh, the framing now I'm gonna drop just a piece of flooring in here and this is really just for the battery to sit on and I'm gonna have it glued into the floor uh, with just some liquid nails Sometimes Harbor Freight comes through for you, man. I've got this crossbar on there, but you can see how flimsy uh, it is. It's not really flimsy, it's just very flexy. Uh, so I'm gonna put these extruded pieces of uh, aluminum here, and I'm gonna attach it to this original um, bulkhead here. Alright, so I've got this riveted in, and it's rigid and stiff, and that should do it. Uh, I'm going to put another angle right here, and that'll create a little bit of a T, and it'll be supported by these as well. So, let's get going. Well, started to rain. This is, might be the end of this weekend. Worth the work. What a shame. Well, thank you for watching, and keep an eye out for the next episode where we'll continue to frame up into the bow and I'll explain some more issues and difficulties I'm having with the framing. We'll also get into how I'm building my live well slash bait well. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and click that bell so you'll get a notification when I post the next video. See you on the next one.